This morning we heard um, from the, the, the other panel I moderated, the natural gas producers. We were told we have so much natural gas in the United States that we essentially don't have to worry about any other fuel source. Uh, you, you, your company has a fleet of power generation, nuclear, uh, gas, coal, you run the gamut. Um, we have so much gas. What, why bother building anything else? I mean, you know, we've been told essentially, you know, what could go wrong here? The temptation is all, build gas all the time okay. because it's cheap sure. and it's quick to build. But the reality is the strength of the electric grid in the United States is our mix of generation. We have a portfolio of ways of generating electricity, unlike the transport sector that's totally dependent on oil. Right. So the, today, I mean, just to give you an example, we built a new combined cycle plant, came online in May. Uh, gas is 235, it's a very efficient plant, and it's being dispatched after our nuclear plants and before all our coal plants. <laughs> now the knock-on effect of that is, is we're creating great inventories of coal <laughs> that we need to solve. But that's not just happening in the Carolinas, that's happening in MISO, PJM, and other regions. And you're creating these inventories because you, you have contracts to take delivery of the coal and you can, essentially it doesn't make economic sense to burn it right now. It doesn't make economic sense to burn it this time. But to, to your question, um, we have to look out 40, 60 years when we build a plant. And the important thing is we can't predict what the carbon price will be. We can't predict um, at the end of the day, there's great supply of natural gas. We can't predict what the price of gas will be, and if history is any lesson, it's been volatile. But my hope is, is with shale gas, it will be more, um, the, the price volatility would be mitigated in some way. Your hope? What about your expectation? Do you, do you think that we're entering a new era of gas, natural gas prices? That's a critical question for many people here. Well, I remember a quote from 1974 where basically they said, there's not enough gas in this country to produce gas at low prices. And yet today we are. And so the, the only point I'm making is, I'm not gonna put all my chips on any single technology I wanna blend. And so I have to convince regulators that if carbon price rises, mm -hmm. if demand increases over what we expect, uh, if there is vol greater volatility in gas prices, and I hope there isn't, but if indeed it is, like the past, I need to make sure that we are continue to stay the course, and actually that's the toughest challenge we have, because we have to convince regulators and consumers, let us build other things than just gas, mm -hmm. although I will make a quick observation and, and prediction. I believe by 2030, I mean, our own company is not gonna build another coal plant for 20 years. My belief is, is that the amount of electricity that comes from coal is gonna decline, while the amount comes from gas is gonna increase, and they're gonna be about equal around 30% by 2030. 